Good morning. As you know, this is March 19th. But um, you may or may not know that today is St. Joseph's Day. It's not a celebration that we do in, that we uh, carry forward in this denomination. March 19th is a day each year when Catholics throughout the world celebrate St. Joseph, Mary's husband, Jesus' stepfather, known as the protector of family and the patron of Universal Church and the workers. This is what the web told me. But that isn't the focus of our meditation today. What I'd like to bring to you is, today is also the day when swallows return to Mission San Juan Capistrano. What causes these sparrows to return each year? Roughly the same day every year they return to the mission. It is some sort of inner knowing, an instinct, I think it's truly amazing myself. With inner knowing in mind, with instinct, I invite you to close your eyes. Breathe slowly. Breathe naturally and contemplate your inner knowing, your inner instinct, your inner intuition. that instinct that calls you home to your spiritual home. It's not a place, although some places might invite this feeling more than others. But I believe there's a place within each of us that yearns for home. home with our inner knowing, our higher self. <clears throat> Some call it spirit. Many call it God. Some folks call it higher power. But there is a yearning in each of us Simply acknowledge that within yourself. Allow it to wash over you. As we move into a few moments of prayer, acknowledging acknowledging that part of ourselves that yearns to return to that place, that space. Perhaps imagining a sparrow, a, a swallow soaring Wings spread. Colors. Embrace that inner space calling to your higher self
with ease and comfort, returning, returning. Returning to your own mission. Welcome you. As you slowly become ready to return to this room, to this chapel, I offer this story. It's about how the swallows came to call the mission their home. In his book, Father St. John O'Sullivan, pastor of mission, San Juan Capistrano, from 1910 to 1933, describes a day that he saw a shopkeeper angry, swinging a broom, knocking down mud swallow nests. There was a flurry of birds darting back and forth, squealing over the destruction of their homes. Seeing that the birds were suddenly without a home, Father O'Sullivan said, Come on, swallows, I'll give you shelter. Come to the mission. There's room enough there for all. No, I can't tell you that's exactly the way it happened. That is a sweet story. A sweet story of welcome and safety. Perhaps it's like a parable. But I do know that spirit, my higher self, your higher self, always waits within. Waiting for us to open our hearts and return. And return. And return.
When you're ready, I invite you to open your eyes and know that you're welcome, know that you're home. Love and blessings.